Hey guys, Warm Games here, and welcome back to another video. And before this video starts, I would like to give a, another huge shout out to Contemplate This for being an awesome subscriber. He didn't ask for a shout out or anything. I just decided to give him one because he's been an awesome sub, been coming in all my videos, he's been liking them. He is just amazing. Let's see what kind of. Yeah, he posts like awesome Skyrim videos. Look at this. Look at this guy. Should go check him out. He even posts Minecraft videos. So I think you guys should um go check him out. So to love and uh, eight hours ago. So he actually does. He's actually really active on YouTube. So I say go check him out and go subscribe to him. Without further ado, let's get into the video. guys, one game and welcome back to another Minecraft creation video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Minecraft TNT cannon. I'm going to teach you how to create this one, and then the big one. Ooh, yeah, you guys thought I was only going to teach you how to make this little thing. Anyways, I'm going to teach you how to make both of them in this video, so stay tuned. This is the easiest one to make for any redstone failure, anybody that cannot do redstone at all, all you need is five materials. You need a block of any kind, a piece of red, um, some redstone, obviously TNT, some water buckets, and a button. And before this video starts, it's not a TNT can, it's a human TNT can, it shoots you. So I'm going to give you a preview of the small one and what it does. Okay, so it's going to light, and it's going to shoot me up into the air. That's actually a good little entrance if you want to like get into um if you want to get into um a base on like make make a base entrance where you have to like jump into it that would be an amazing cool entrance I think or you can also make a space base and then have that one be your gigantic entrance because it shoots you so high anyways all you need to do is hold on, let me get these materials let me get them you need to have like basically make four dents in like that like that right there okay and put a water bucket in the middle and then put a block on top of it like on top of the water not in the middle just like blocks on top of it like that okay we're good now you want now you want to just like put redstone just all around the outside don't do this don't do that you want to like put it all around the outside that's what some people have been doing by accident well you want to actually like make it look like that like a little cross and then you want to obviously put the TNT in. Let's go. Let's go put the TNT in. And for the last part, put the button on whatever side you want. I could put it on this side, that side. Let's put it on this side. I can just shoot up in there. Woo! Woo! Oh, almost as high as that mountain. Let's do slash time set day. Okay, so that was the first TNT cannon. Now let's take a look at second one second TNT can I'm just gonna put this stuff back I have no idea what order it's gonna be in put it uh come on just go in just go in there uh we need to make it look nice so I can go in the middle I'm such like a control freak but anyways let's keep going to the giant one you, you, you see this one this one only shots like up to almost as high as that mountain like this one's a little bit more complicated I do not recommend this one to any on um, new redstone newbies on Minecraft, but you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine materials: a block, a piece of redstone or redstone, a water bucket, a fence, a button, redstone repeater, redstone torch, TNT, obviously, and then glowstone's optional if you want to do this at night. But anyways, let's give you a preview of what it looks like. Here it is. You can make like a stairway up, but I I just got too lazy. So you land. It turned to water. I'm. Is that ice? No, 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 no. How? What the heck? Turn to ice. No. If that if that ever happens, then oh my god, you are dead. So you want you do not want that to happen under any circumstances. Let's just. What the heck? Did something. Bad? Hold up. Hold up. I think we have to replace this. Someone, I think I might have broken this by. Oh my God! No, did it break? Did it break this too? Let me let me get in. Don't break. No, 
breaking everything in here. What the heck? The heck, water? What the heck? Why you do this? Why you do this, water? Oh my god. That was not that fun. But anyways, you put a redstone repeater. Preview. Preview. Then where where the blocks at? Okay. Let's put that right there. That fence shouldn't be like that. Um, there should be a button right there. Okay, let's get the water in again. Okay, and then we can put the TNT around. So, this is basically the preview. If you only want to be the newbie version, you can build this one. But let's see how high this one shoots us. Turn dice again. Please don't turn dice again. Didn't. Oh. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Look at that. All the way up to right here. And if it's night, oh my god, it looks like you're getting shot into space. Look at that, that one barely took us up to the top of that mountain. We can't even see that anymore. Look at this. You'll be up here floating for days. You can't even see that. You can barely see the tip of the t TNT cannon. And I have Optifine, so without Optifine, and you basically can't see it at all. Let's get down. Oh my god. That could be like a space entrance, boys. Let's go. Anyways... What you want to build this is you're going to want to do a 3x3 three three, like hole like this-ish. Oh, that's four. I screw up. I screw up. I screw up. But I'm going to like put that. So then you're going to want to just like put your type of block around the outside. I just chose iron because it's like a standard block to use. And now did I? Okay, no. No, I didn't. I'm going to want to place a fence right here, and then a glowstone just to see everything down there. And then you're going to want to have your blocks or whatever you want right here, just so it doesn't accidentally get blown up. You want to have, I would recommend doing a, using a strong block for this, so you don't screw up by accident. But you could actually adjust the TNT, um, how high you want it to go. I just have it set on medium, so after you do that, just set the redstone all around and then put blocks on top of it and I did this three times just to, like get at the medium if you want to go super high then you're daredevil go do it let's see how that turns out if you're doing this in survival you better have somewhere up there that you can land and like have a space base and you can just jump down to a pool that would be so awesome then I'm gonna do one more time I'm actually gonna forget how to do this the um, torch part's like confusing, just, just, warning, confusing, it gets confusing after, after this, but you want to put in the water last, because you don't want it to screw you up, anyways, put the button down on one of these things, I'm going to put it down right there, and if you have your button right there on that block, you're going to want to break the two blocks behind it, okay, you see what I did, break the two blocks behind it, and put your redstone repeater right there, okay, right there, I'm going to fill it back up, Go on to the other side. Find it. Where is it at? There it is. Okay, so I think I forgot how to do this. I need to go uh, and check. Okay, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we do. That's what we do. Where was it? So you want to have a block right there and then have your redstone torch there, I believe. Yes, you do. You want to have your torch right there. So if your repeater's right there, put a block right in front of it and then put a redstone torch right there and then just build on top of it and then if you put a torch right there it cancels it out look at that you see that that's amazing it's amazing oh my come on okay so yeah you want to have a block right there with some redstone on top of it i'm not a master at this so i have no idea what i'm doing now if i you're gonna want to like okay so this is basically what it's gonna look like after you get past you're gonna have the redstone torch a block then another thing right there. Then on top of it, you're going to have another torch. Top of the dead one, you're going to have another torch so it actually lights up this time. And then on top of that one, you're going to put a block. You're going to put a block on top of that torch. And then on the inside of this one, you're going to put a redstone um, torch right there. And then just connect it. That's it. Basically, that's it. That's We're done. All we have to do now is just place it. So let's, excuse me, there we go. All we have to do now is just place it down and fill it with water. You're only going to want to fill the bottom layer or else some something bad will happen. I don't, I don't know. I haven't, 
He's like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to put TNT there. You want to put it above the water so it doesn't blow up your five minute long artwork. So let's just get TNT. Hopefully this doesn't blow up on me. I'm not a master at this. I just learned. Oh, lag. Ooh, lag spike. Um, I just learned how to do this today. I just made it. So let's get down to the torch. That looks like ice for me. I don't know why. But anyways, let's press it. Please don't blow up. It looks good so far. Let's go! Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at my amazing world. Look at this. That is an amazing thing. If you want to learn how to make an actual TNT can that shoots TNT, you can like have Castle Wars. If you want to have any of those, click the like button and ask me what you want to learn how to do next. I'm 1UP Games, and I'll see you guys on my next video.